hello again. It is I, your very own boy, Nixie Brassflower, and I was kind of surprised to see that my AI dungeon video did decently. So I'm going to make another one because it just works. <laughs> Where we last laughed off, I had vowed to steal the crown of the Lich King, the Lord of the Undead, and on the way we encountered monsters, bartenders, and thick booties, so if you're not caught up with that, then maybe go do that. <laughs> yes, the most powerful call to actions in the entirety of YouTube, but I suppose I'm just going to go ahead and um, continue. Because I had a lot of fun with this last time. You get out of the inn and make your way to the Lich King's stronghold. You take a right at the fork in the road and keep walking. You come to a split in the path where three paths converge. You see a black chain across the path. I'm gonna be real with you, I have no idea what the fuck they mean with a black chain, but we're gonna- we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> no choice now, only black chain. Um... You examine the black chain. You notice that the grass is grown at the that the grass has grown at the spot where the chain is anchored to the ground. The chain is about two feet long and made of the strongest metal you have ever seen. It's two feet long. I could probably Is it like a fixed thing? I, I don't know. If it's the strongest metal I've ever seen, I might just take it and sell it. You try to remove the chain from the ground so you can sell it later. You pick up the chain with both hands and pull on it, but it doesn't budge. The chain is bolted to the ground. Alright, I suppose that's it. I suppose that's it for the chain then. Ignore the chain and go to the middle of the three paths. You notice a black stone slab with an old worn groove in it. You kneel down to read the long unused letters. I suppose I'm just gonna try to interpret what that says and move on. You try to read and interpret the letters on the slab. The letters are small and worn, but you manage to make out some of it. The slab says... <laughs> Fuck you, you don't get to know what the slab says. <laughs> I suppose... I am such a creative boy, you have no idea. <laughs> The text on the slab reads, This way to the Lich King's stronghold. You notice a small gap in the middle of the trees. You look at the paths again and realize that the slab is on a small branch that leads directly to the stronghold? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not even gonna question it. I'm, I'm not gonna question it. This is the most direct path that they have given me to the stronghold yet, and I shall take it. You go across the branch and make your way to the stronghold. You walk along the path, and a feeling of dread fills you. Ah, uh, fill me up, dread senpai. Sorry. Um, you've been feeling this way ever since you left the comfort of the inn. Well, listen, this is where I'm supposed to go, so... <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, game. <laughs> You push on, trying to ignore the feelings of dread. A feeling of dread. A feeling of being watched. You turn around and notice a large camp with blackened tents. In each tent is a diseased and twisted creature. Alright, there's two ways I can do this. Either I can go there, risk life and limb, and um, see what's going on there, or I could... <laughs> Just sneak past, which I think is what I'm gonna do. I'm a thief. I'm supposed to be sneaky to steal shit. You sneak past the camp and notice onward, and that's that's wrong. You sneak past the camp and continue onwards to the Lich King's stronghold. You walk past the camp and try to keep your head low so the creatures don't notice you, but you can't help but notice one tent in particular, which is set away from the others. It's set away from the others. I might as well just see what it is. You sneak up to the tent that's set away from the others. You slowly make your way towards the large tent. 
You're a few feet away when you notice that the ground is strangely, all caps, CLEAN under the tent. Yeah, that shit's CLEAN! Um... I just wanna poke my head into the thing. I have a gun on me. If anything jumps out, I'll just shoot it again. The tent flap is tied back and you step inside. You're surrounded by diseased and twisted creatures. The entire tent is filled with them. I just wanted to poke my head into it game. I didn't want to step into it completely specifically because of this reason. You know what? I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> We're going to charisma check our way out of this. <laughs> by the power of my sharpened wit and gun. You say, oh, uh, excuse me, I must have entered the wrong tent, I'm such a clumsy person. Almost immediately, one of the creatures turns to you and snarls. Don't mind us, little one, it says. We're not usually so. Look, what the fuck does this mean? Uh, game, could you please allow me to copy-paste this word? Oh god, <laughs> it's all freezing up. <clears throat> Locacious? Talking constantly due to rapid and uncontrolled passing of ideas through the mind. Talking constantly. I'll I'll just I'll just play this off. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it like very politely. I'm I'm a polite boy. <laughs> You say, then I won't mind you any longer. Uh, thank you for understanding, but I'll be on my way now. They dig around in their torn up tents, and one by one they rise up to you. <laughs> Calmly <laughs> walk out of the tent. No sudden movements, they can sense your fear. <laughs> You make your way through the horde of decaying creatures. The creatures start to talk to you. What's going on? Where are we? Hey, I want to say how much I loathe this place. Ooh. Ooh, I can... <laughs> I can... I can maybe play into that a little bit. If you loathe this place, then let's try and make it better. I... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is a mistake. <laughs> Um, okay, we have gone into a completely different thing. The game does not know where I am anymore. Again. You say, if you loathe this place, then come join me on my way to the Lich King's stronghold. It'll be much better once he's gone. You're walking along the forest path towards the stronghold when you see a group of men approaching you. They have long, rusty swords and look slightly crazy, but not necessarily bad. Um... If I just if I mention that I have the the creatures with me, will the game recognize that? I'm going to try. I'm going to I'm going to make an attempt. Okay, I don't know what this means necessarily, but hey, we'll roll with, we'll roll with it somehow. You and your group of twisted creatures walk by the men with swords, trying not to start anything. You walk a few feet ahead of your group. Staring at them steadily, waiting to see what they'll do. I suppose that's just what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Alright, that's an interesting insult. You wait to see what the man of men with swords will do. You have your creatures stand by in case anything happens. Are oh, you? One of the men says. You I seed! You better come with us or you'll get a taste of this! You don't say anything, but the man continues. You don't say anything. Are you sure that I don't say anything? I, I think I decide if I say anything. <laughs> Ooh, world events. A small group of wizards have been experimenting with a powerful magic they've never dared to use before. After much deliberation, they've decided to take the experiments to the final level. They're going to summon a dark demigod to help them conquer Dark World. Okay, interesting.
You say, I'd rather not. You wouldn't want to start a fight with me and my creatures, would you? What are you? Every man is his price, you say, trying to make an analogy. I don't think that's what an... Is that what an analogy is? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. What would it take for you to leave me be? <laughs> this is literally... <laughs> This is literally how I solve all of my problems in this game. Gun. <laughs> the, the game probably did not realize how catastrophic it would be for literally everything else that lives here to give me a gun. <laughs> you place your hand on your gun in case the men draw their swords. As you reach into your right pocket, a large gun appears in your hand. Oi, one of the men says. You point the gun at the man. <laughs> Negotiator. I am. I am. <laughs> I am a master in the art of politics. You say, please, just leave me and my creatures be. We're just trying to get rid of the Lich King, that's all. What the? One of the men says, don't even think about it, son. Another man says, readying his sword. You say, ah, so much for trying to talk it out. You look at your group and wonder if it will be worth it to just fight them now. Uh, I wait. I I think I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a monster. I'm not just going to immediately kill them. I'll wait to see what they do. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you wait to see if they attack. While you're waiting, your creature touches your hand. You look down at him, and he looks up at you with those big eyes. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just engage in friendly conversation with one of my new creatures. You say, do you need anything? He scratches his head and sniffs the air. He's nervous and on edge, anticipating someone. I don't know who says this. Ah, someone's taken a liking to you, have they? I think, I think it's just one of the guys. I suppose I'll just walk past the men with swords and guide my creatures towards the Lich King's stronghold. This is how I'm, this is how I'm going to do this. If they happen to fight me, they, they're probably vastly outnumbered, because I was surrounded with these things, and... How many of them did they say there were? Like, three guys? Oh no, okay, I just mentally, for some reason, thought that it was... I, I for some reason, just thought that it was just three guys. <clears throat> I hope this will work. It's a pretty long command, so I don't know if the AI will recognize it necessarily. You keep your gun aimed at the men, but you and your creatures walk by them, hoping they won't attack. You feel the creatures tense up, preparing for a fight or flight response. You put away- you put your free hand on your gun- and I just put my other hand on my gun too, because I already had one of them aimed at the- I already had, like, the gun aimed at one of the guys. In case anyone decides to make a quick getaway. Hey, I know you! I suppose that that's also one of the dudes saying that. I I'm just gonna taunt them. I suppose one of the guys in the group just happens to know me. <laughs> you say, do you know me though? If so, what's my name? For a brief moment he looks confused, then he remembers who you are. You say, if you're not going to tell me, then I'll just leave. I got places to be and shit to do. He shakes his head and laughs a bit. <laughs> you always did know how to get things done. All right, then. I won't stop you. I think it's pretty funny that the guy who we just met was like, hey, I know you. And I'm like, what's my name then? Uh, motherfucking uh. <laughs> You and you, you and your creatures walk past the men and continue on your way to the Lich King's stronghold. 
You continue walking to the stronghold as you ponder what you'll say if you ever get there. You walk in silence for a moment before you notice a large pit in the ground with the staircase leading down. You walk down the stairs and wonder if this will lead you somewhere. Hello? You shout. You walk down another flight of stairs, passing by how deep you are in the earth right now. Mm, am I going real deep? Sorry. I don't know what it is with me today. <laughs> um, you wonder if this is the way to the Lich King's stronghold. As you walk deeper and deeper- Okay, we're getting a choice here. As you walk deeper and deeper underground, you begin to hear howling in the distance. That doesn't sound like one of my creatures, you shout. You continue walking down the long passage until you eventually come to a metal door with a large keyhole in it. This is it, you say underneath your breath. Um, I think this one makes more sense because they never n they never mentioned shit about a large metal door or keys. So I'm going for this one. I'm just going to drag my creatures into every prompt to make sure that the game doesn't forget that I have them. You draw your gun and tell your creatures to be prepared for anything. The howling gets louder and that's when you begin to see the light of the cave begin to flicker. You look closer and you see a figure in robes, holding a sword and standing on a large black wolf. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> you say, and who might you be? I am the mercenary, Death's Head. Today is my lucky day, for a poor soul has chosen to come to me for a deal. Five hundred gold for one night with your girl. <laughs> 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 the game has suddenly decided for us that we're in a relationship. <laughs> you say, No way, asshole! I'm in a loving, committed relationship, and I won't let you lay a finger on my girl. The mercenary looks offended. What? You don't want to make a little money to help feed your girlfriend's hunger. Man, you just don't know how good you have it. You say, I'm already making money by stealing stuff and selling it. You obviously don't know me. So, who's the lucky girl then? He asks. You frown and get angry. My girlfriend, what else? You say, no, can I get past you? I'm not going to let you sleep with my wife and I don't have time to argue with you. The mercenary draws his sword and charges at you. The large wolf accompanying him is just as scary with red eyes and large fangs that can crack your skull with ease. You pull out your gun and start shooting. Okay, I don't know what they mean by this. You aim for the mercenary's head and shoot him, telling your creatures to kill the large wolf. You shoot the mercenary in the head and he crumples to the ground. He's just fucking dead. The large wolf howls at you as you back away, the mercenary's bodyguard. You're, you let your creatures attack and kill the wolf. Your creatures move with unnatural speed and kill the black wolf in seconds. It's dead and you sigh in relief. <sighs> Alright then, the mercenary's dead. Let's keep an eye on things. You continue going through the underground path on your way to the Lich King's stronghold. You walk down the underground path when you see something sitting by the wall of the path. You look at it, and find a fancy bottle with dark red liquid in it. I'm going to ignore the bottle and move on, because it feels like this might be poisoned. I have a feeling that this might be something that I don't want to do. You ignore the bottle and continue making your way to the stronghold. You continue walking, and shortly after, another bottle appears by your feet. You look at it, and find a golden bottle with a clear liquid in it. <laughs> <laughs> Bottles fucking everywhere. <laughs> you walk for a while. Wait, you ignore this bottle too. 
you and your creatures continue going towards the Lich King's stronghold. You walk for a while until you come across a small hut. You walk inside to see a young man in fine clothing with a pained expression on his face. Ah! A customer! Excellent! You say, hey, do you happen to know how I can get to the Lich King's stronghold? Ha, huh, of course! Although I might point out it'd be suicide for you. The king is a being of pure evil, and his fortress is filled with creatures designed specifically to kill anyone who tries to invade him. You say, I have a lot of creatures with me too. I'll be fine, just tell me where to go. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, have fun then, but I defies against it. The road to the king is a very dangerous one. He doesn't finish his sentence, so I guess I'm just going to, um... Well, I, he does finish that sentence. You know what? I'm just going to reply. <clears throat> you say, I will have fun, thank you. Now, how do I get there? Ha! You want to go straight to the stronghold? I don't think so. The king has many traps and defenses set up. Don't you have any information? Okay, now I do need to use story. The story command. Fine, if you're going to be so bloody insistent, the merchant says, handing you a map that shows you how to get from there to the stronghold. Thank you so much, you say as you leave the tent, tossing a coin to the merchant on your way out. You have learned where the stronghold is. Now all you have to do is get there. You and your creatures follow the map's direction to the directions to the Lich King's stronghold. You follow the map's directions, and eventually you make it to the stronghold. It doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before. It's bigger than your hometown. You say, we finally made it. Let's go, my creatures, and show the Lich King what we can do. Wait a moment. Now that we're here, let us use this chance to the fullest. Let's make sure we take this place with as little resistance as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that's one of, I'm guessing that's what one of my creatures says. You take some time to prepare, prepare before you enter the walls of the stronghold. For several days you prepare for what's about to come. You call all the villagers you can to gather at the village. As well as most of your army. What, what's, what village? You tell all the creatures and villagers to take up arms and then you storm the stronghold. For the next few hours, you're in a state of anarchy, your creatures killing all those who oppose you and the villagers defending themselves as best as they can from your army. What have I become? What have I done? <laughs> How the fuck did we get here? I think, I think this might just be all the time we have for today. So if you enjoyed this, um, be sure to do all of the standard YouTube stuff. Like, I don't know. There, there's got to be some creative way for me to say press like and do do the subscribe thing, but um, next time uh, next time I return to AI Dungeon, I think that will be the final installment of this the Ye Olde Nixie Saga. It's gonna be like a little three parter, and maybe after that I'll get some of my friends over and then we can make weird decisions together and confuse the AI as to what the fuck it is that we want. So be prepared for that. <laughs> and, uh, in the meantime, have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you next time.